Hello friends, I hope you are well, I hope you are thriving through this lockdown and I have a question for you. Do you want to become a player in life, so a sovereign creator, or do you want to be a pawn? Do you want to be a player in somebody else's game? And that's what we're going to be exploring today. We're going to be exploring the law of cause and effect. So if you are somebody who wants to be that sovereign creator and wants to step into their power, continue to watch this video. If not, just skip forward to the next video. And if you are new to this channel, welcome. I'm Anastasia and on this channel we talk about truth and sovereignty and psychology and spirituality and all the things that maybe you can't speak to your friends about. So if that is of interest to you, please like and subscribe below and welcome to Monday Musings. Monday Musings is it's a bit of a, a, a space where we kind of ponder on things in life using some esoteric teachings and today we're going to be diving a little bit deeper into the hermetic philosophy and the law of cause and effect. So Let's have a little uh, let's have a little recap of where we've been so far because if you haven't watched uh, if you haven't watched the other five episodes that have preceded this, I suggest you go and watch those. But I'm just going to give you a quick recap. So we have been talking about the hermetic principles, and the hermetic principles really help us level up in life. And right now, we need like never before, to level up, to understand our power, to reclaim our power and to step into it and, and to really, to step into, there was something very interesting that uh, my friend shared today, Lily, she shared on her Facebook about <laughs> putting our crowns back on and, and if we look at what coronavirus is, corona means crowns, right? So we are being asked on some level, on the all is mind level, to really step into our sovereign innate power, the kings and queens within. So let's just go through the principles again. So we have the first principle, which is all is mind. So this, the, this is the principle that there is a divine intelligence, what religion would call God. And that is... Um, that's the idea that everything comes from spirit first, that, you know, there's nothing new under the sun. Then we have the law of correspondence as above, so below. So what the law of correspondence teaches us is that we, uh, what's inside is also outside. And you can see this right now as we are entering the collective dark night of the soul for those people who haven't been doing their inner work. And you may see this around your family and friends you may see them kind of going into crisis right now because, and I'll tell you why in a little bit deeper later on. So um, watch to the end because I'm going to share how dark sorcery uses the law of cause and effect to manipulate people. But what you'll see is you'll see people who haven't done their inner, inner work right now just just losing their minds. And, and, and you know, that's not, that's not their own fault. I'm not shaming or blaming anybody just want to make you aware because if we are quarantined with our family what what we may find is we may find it's a loose fest so what is loose loose is the negative energy that um, interdimensional beings feed from um, Carlos Castaneda speaks a lot about this in his work and it is it is food and if we are stuck in uh, with our families and our ancestors I'm currently quarantined with my parents which wasn't my plan but the but what the alchemist does what the magician does what the hermeticist does is they see where is the lessons where can I learn where can I clear some more ancestral baggage where can I see the chinks in my armor that's what a real uh, magician would do so that's the law of co correspondence then we move to the law of vibration that nothing rests everything moves everything vibrates so this is the idea that everything around us and we know this you know that that everything has a, a vibrational frequency and that everything moves even even stones and rocks on some some level they will move and and, and a virus will move as well so you know, it, it's very easy to fall into this mindset, especially if you're looking at alternative media that we're going to be under martial law forever. Well, well no, we're not because the law of vibration tells us that, that, that a virus will eventually move and that something will change. And the law of rhythm teaches us that as well. So everything is, is dual. That's the next, that's the next um, hermetic principle. So everything has a positive and a negative. Everything has a dark and a light. Um, 
everything is you know um is the two the, the one becomes two so in this reality it comes from mind and then it becomes two and then we have the law of rhythm which i was just speaking about so the law of rhythm it's the pendulum and the pendulum will always swing back to the middle so it might swing right to left dark to light but at some point it will swim swing back to the middle and this is the real um the real point of power when you can be in the middle when i showed the high priestess card a few weeks ago and the high priestess she sits in the middle pillar right she sits in between the dark and the light because the middle pillar if you can become um, depolarized that's where your free will is that's where the zero point is because if you are polarized you are bound to a certain way of thinking and you see this a lot right now you you'll see it in the alternative media you will have those that are polarized towards we are going to be under martial law and 5g is going to kill us and then you will have others that are polarized to it's all right there's a savior coming and um either the galactic federation of light is going to save us or trump is going to save us and what that is is it's a really good illustration of the dark shadow and the golden shadow in action so the dark shadow is where um you know everything is fear um and that fear fear is the the main undercurrent of of, of darkness you know it's I, th I think i think yoda says it in in the yeah he does yoda says it it's you know it's the path to the dark side fear is the path to the dark side and then you know the golden shadow on the other the other scale. So you know those that believe that the gladiation of the federation. Oh, I can't speak today. The gladder, the galactic federation is coming to save us. Those people, or those people that believe that QAnon is going to save us. Those people are doing what's called. Um, they are. It's the golden shadow. It's the golden shadow. So the golden shadow is when. It's when you project something or you put somebody on a pedestal. So right now there are people that are hating Trump and then there are people that are putting Trump on a pedestal that is going to be the saviour. And on, on both of those polarities, it's pretty bad for Trump because he's probably having a ton of psychic energy sent towards him, which is probably not what he needs right now. And I'm not saying Trump is either good or bad. I, I don't know. You know, I've never met the guy. Um... And he might be, he might be playing a, a good role for people. We, we just don't know. But when people are projecting that he is the saviour onto him, when they are projecting their golden shadow, what that indicates, if you take that inwards, is where are you abandoning yourself? That would be the question if you were doing golden shadow work with somebody, which is, is some of the work that I do with my long-term clients. You would say if somebody puts you on a pedestal, and they often do, sometimes people will put me on a pedestal and I'll say, no, no. You know, they'll go, oh, Anastasia, you're amazing. And I'll go, no, no, you you are seeing that, I, that, that that I might be amazing, but that's because there's amazing in you that you're suppressing. So I always put it back onto them. And that's what a light occultist does. A light occultist never takes power. They always give power back because they know that there's karmic con con consequences for taking power off others. So that's a good example of how we see the dark shadow and the golden shadow in, in action right now. And then um, if we move down to the... Um, the uh, what we're going to talk today the law of cause and effect the law of cause and effect teaches you that if you have an effect so so here's this little orange blob here this is my this is my effect this is something i've done whether it be positive or negative it has a effect out onto the universe and i'm going to read something from a book that will explain this in much better detail than i am right now but the cause always has an effect so what most people are living their life, most people are living just by seeing the effects and they're just living their lives saying, this has happened to me, that has happened to me, but they never look at the cause. So when you're doing work like esoteric work, you're always trying to look at the, the cause, what's the root cause? And that's what we do in parts work as well. When we, when we do parts work with people, we look at, the, at where the cause is and then we work to alchemize the part. And what's really interesting is you see that parts will often change to the opposite. So I had a client that I was working with a few days ago and she, uh, she had a very confused part, but the confused part 
switched around to her organizing part and it was just so beautiful and almost like witnessing magic somebody do magic themselves so it was, it was incredible to see but i'm just going to read um what um john baines has to say the stellar man and the reason why i always show books is because i really want to encourage people to read books so that's why i always show them and i like to read a little bit from them because i think there is great power in reading and not just watching youtube videos all day long and that's something that in these times we can you know we can fall into a little bit so i'll read what john baines has to say on the principle of cause and effect the principle of cause and effect states every cause has its effect every effect has its cause everything happens according to the law chance is only a name for a law not recognized there are many planes of causation but nothing escapes the law this law teaches us that nothing in the universe happens by chance everything has a specific cause what we call chance is only something where its cause cause remains unknown it is not possible that something should exist apart from and beyond the law as this force will be independent and superior to the universe so that's a really important point that we need to remember at, at this moment in time whatever kind of story or narrative that you go in that you know you kind of fallen into right now just know that the you know the the elites or the parasites that be they are not above the law they might be above the the uh, make-believe legal system that is out there but they are not above cosmic and universal law so you need to remember that applying the law of rhythm to the law of cause and effect so remember the the rhythm is the uh, pendulum swinging we could state that the magnitude of an effect is always equivalent to the importance of the cause which generates it as we explain when discussing the principle of polarity there are two basic planes that of cause superior and that of effect lower the man the man in his daily life is only aware of the latter so so only aware of the effect only aware of the effect of coronavirus not actually really uh, seeing what the cause is of it or on, only the effects that it's having on his life not seeing where the opportunities are to to grow from this we live it we live in a world of effects and only the hermeticist has the knowledge of the occult cause of events so if we look at anything in life if you start to look at you know if you whatever pattern you have going on maybe it's a pattern of um meeting the same person meeting the same having the same relationship with the same person in a different meat suit maybe your partner's always abandon you if you were a, um, an occultist or you were looking at esoteric teachings, you would take that in and you go, right, where do I abandon myself? And then you would probably take that a little bit back and it would probably relate somewhere into your childhood or maybe a life gone before where you have been abandoned on some level. And that imprint, until it's removed, until it's purified, until it's changed, it remains in the subconscious mind because all is mind, right? And the subconscious mind, this is 80% of our cognitive thinking and it's the feminine, it's the hidden, it's the shadow. This is why it's so important to do your shadow work. And when you're doing shadow work, a really good thing to do is just look outside at what triggers you. So whatever triggers you, look at it so maybe i don't know maybe somebody um maybe somebody um is always trying to steal your 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 money from you right okay so somebody is somebody's always taking your money and then what you would do in shadow work you would look at where do you take from this person or where do you take from yourself so they might steal money from you but you might steal time and their energy from from them and you might do that to yourself. You might steal your own time and energy. So what you're always trying to do is you're always trying to bring it back to you so that you become the sovereign creator so that you, uh, you're you not living in someone else's um, cause. You're not living by somebody else's game. You know, like I said at the beginning, you're not playing somebody else's chess game. You're playing your own game. And whatever the outside throws at you, whether it's a coronavirus and you're quarantined in with your family and, you know, you've, you've perhaps maybe you've, you know, you've lost income or whatever, you, you, you know how to change it because 
you know where your faults are because you're radically honest with yourself and you're able to change that, you're able to alchemize it. And this is what the, you know, the dark occultists that, you know, currently are running this world, this is what they, they understand all of these principles. They understand every single one of these inside out. And what they understand is that they, you know, all these, all these principles, they all blend into one another as well. So it's really important that you understand all of them and how they work with, work with one another. And what these dark occultists know is they, they know that they can have, they can have power over people by causing something and then and then and then stealing the energy so what we what do we have right now we have we have the coronavirus but we have the media which is basically doing dark sorcery that is what the media is doing right now and everybody is feeling the effects of this dark sorcery unless they know these hidden principles and then the people that do know these hidden principles are the people that are going to not only just thrive the lockdown, but they're going to thrive into, you know, the next couple of years, which are going to be, are going to be challenging. If you look at astrology, we've got some challenging things coming up with Saturn and Jupiter. So, you know, this is a, this is a, a real choice in time, a real moment in time, if you are either going to thrive through this or are you going to crumble and and the choice is yours and you can take that you can take back that power by understanding these laws and these principles so how do you become how do you have causation over yourself okay so the way things are created in this universe and and don't get freaked out because it's a triangle right so this is another thing that i see in alternative uh, media and communities they see a triangle they freak out thinking the illuminati is here well, we need to stop calling them. I say this all the time. We need to stop calling them the Illuminati. We are the Illuminati. The Illuminati means the illuminated ones, the light ones, right? We're the light ones. We, we who do good actions and, and good positive actions and good positive intentions, we are the illuminated ones. They are the parasites. So, you've got to get, you've got to get control over your thoughts. So if you're sitting eight hours a day, I keep saying this, if you're sitting eight hours a day in, in conspiracy theories, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with delving into conspiracy theories, but when you are there eight hours a day, and that's all you put your energy into, you are programming your, programming your mind to be in fear, unless you are very balanced and you can sit where that high priestess is, you are going to program your mind. So Everything comes from a thought, so it's that spark of divinity, it's that all is mind. And then we have feelings, so feelings are, are emotions, look at the word emotion, it means moving forward, so you move through things forward with your emotion, it's your charge, okay? And then, and this you could say, and look at it, it's, 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 it's God, it's the feminine, and it's the masculine, right? So that's what it is. That that that's the alchemical process right there. God, feminine, masculine. So you could say all is mind, subconscious mind, conscious mind, because the masculine is inspired action, right? So we need to start. You can't just positively think about things, right? That that that's kind of BS that the the secret teaches. It's not just about positive thinking. There also needs to be positive action because if you don't you don't have the male and female the male and female inside of you in union if you don't follow through with these things so this is a really good diagram to just remember and start to think about you know every day i'm trying to do something that is positive uh, a positive action that's moving me forward in life and I and I'm and I'm doing that every single day. I'm creating something that I've wanted to create for a long time because I've got the space and time to do it, right? So remember these principles and learn something new, you know. At the moment I'm learning. So I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you this. So this is my little magical box. So it's all the ayahuasca vine and then inside, how beautiful is that? Inside it has so this is a a Shibibo tapestry. And the Shibibo tribe were the people that I worked with ayahuasca with. And this is uh, their artwork. And these are called Ikaros. And Ikaros are the songs that they sing in their medicine songs that they sing. 
and we all need a little medicine songs right now but it's where i'm keep i've just bought some tarot cards and it's where i'm keeping them and i'm learning the tarot right now not because i want to be a, um tell people's fortune because that's not what i want to do i want to um i want to learn tarot because i love learning about symbology i love learning about the hidden and what we're going through right now in, in if you were to look at tarot is we're going through a collective um tower moment so the tower moment in the tarot is where everything crumbles right so i got the message um probably towards i think it was like november time that everything that's built on sand is going to fall in 2020 because we're going to have clear vision 2020 vision and I didn't quite know how that was going to happen. I didn't realise that we were all going to have a global lockdown and there was going to be, you know, the potential for things to get completely burnt down. But things need to burn sometimes to be rebirthed. I know in my own personal um, journey, I had to go through the dark night of the soul to get where I am now. I had to be birthed again. I had to be twice birthed to have the life that I am, I have now and to do the work that I do now. And what we're going through is we're going through a collective dark night of the soul. And when you're going through a collective dark night of the soul, you have to get very, or, or when you're going through a dark night of the soul, you have to get very comfortable, kind of being uncomfortable and going through the darkness because you can't get to the darkness. You can't get to the light without going through the darkness, without things burning to the ground, without things tumbling in that tower, tower moment. So this is a great opportunity for humanity to have a reset potentially in the future. But I think we're going to go through through some little turbulent times for the next couple of years. But I think those of us who have this awareness, this hermetic awareness of, you know, we have power over our causation, then we can really turn this into something positive. And yeah, I, I hope we all do. I hope everybody who watches this channel, I really, really hope that you are learning things, that you are bringing something new to the table, that you are developing, that you are doing your inner work. I mean, I was really concerned, actually. I was thinking, oh God, nobody's going to want to book sessions because nobody's going to have any money. Actually, people are booking more sessions because people are, people are seeing now that, that, that their inner work is really important. And this isn't becoming a luxury for you know people who've got a spare bit of money this is because this work is becoming necessary for all of us so i think we're going to see that i think we're going to see i think we're going to see a i think we're going to see a switch of how the economy works and i think we're not going to see so much we're not going to see so much greed in the future then that's going to that's going to fall it's going to fall it's going to have its tower moment greedy will fall because it has to you know the law of rhythm tells us this all right, guys. Anyway, all right, that's enough talking for today. <laughs> oh, I hope, um, yeah, let me know how you're doing in the comments below. I love hearing from you. Let me know what research you have. What have you been learning? What are you reading at the moment? Share your books. I love, I love discovering new books. This was a, this was a gift off, um, off a viewer, actually. So I was really grateful for this book. And he gifted me another book by um, the same author, and I read that last last week, and this is this week's. But yeah, what are you what are you reading? What are you learning? You know, are you are you uh, going through changes internally? Have you discovered some new talents that you have? So let me know in the comments below, and you know, uh, as always, thank you for your time because your time is your real currency in this world, on a cosmic level paper money doesn't mean anything on a cosmic level what means what means a lot is your positive action and how you spend your time growing developing gaining knowledge gaining wisdom developing your soul that's the real wealth that's the real wealth and i hope people start to realize this that, that the paper money it's bullshit <laughs> All right, guys, lots of love to you all. And um, yeah, keep thriving the lockdown. Bye for now.